Alright. Hello, everybody. Decided I wanted to just have some fun today. Uh, had an itch to play some more uh, Aria of Sorrow randomizer. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, nothing special about this one. No chaos mode. No uh, pre-built seed. Just uh, throw it in the, the, the randomizer. Here it is. Here's what we got. Um, you know. So we're just, we're just rolling along. Alright. Alright, good. New controller works with this. I didn't check ahead of time, but yeah, we're, we're doing Dracula. Okay. But yeah, just an itch I've had. Honestly, I've had, it's more, I don't know if it's an Aria itch or if it's just a randomizer itch. I guess we'll be able to tell today, right? That's tough to tell. Alright. We have been properly randomized. This castle is a creature of chaos, indeed. Ah, oh, you're crazy, Bob. Thank you for the sub. Now we now we are fully outfitted. We got a spare uh, set of clothing. Nothing can go wrong. Ooh, bat. What do you got? Sure. Yeah, all right. Glad, glad, glad Stolas can be here this early. This is actually meaningful. Like, like sixteen int is a without infix is small, but it's not a it's not zero. All right, let's check the last item back here. I'm totally unfamiliar with the game. I assume this is all normal. Yeah, completely normal. Yeah, spear that fish. I love the killer fish. <laughs> President Ark, thank you for the sub. Uh, hello, what does all the stuff in the stream name mean? I'm scared. Uh, it's all... Uh, a uh, realtor shorthand. I might have made up a couple bits of it, but it means there's a new house on the market. Ooh, I don't think I've used Gladiator much. Oh, that is. Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. Okay, we want to make the save so that we... So that we have this for uh, a later area in case we need to quick leave. Um, take some cash. How does Giant Wheel equal Gladiator? The Gladiator enemy is the one on the... Ooh, please. Ah! Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I missed it. The Gladiator uh, enemy has, like, a chariot. How many hits this thing has? Okay! That's it! It's, uh... It's got a couple. Feels good. Alright, we got ourselves a weapon. Oh, rapiers, nice starting weapon. Let's head on down. We got a couple items left to pick up, pick through before we, uh... need movement. It's probably our movement right there. Flying armor, all right. Looks like we're gonna be doing a pretty bog standard start. That's good. That's how bone wheel skeletons are made. Oh yeah. That's the real power, Gladiator. Okay, final item over here. Beat strip. The tiny killer fish is the best killer fish. Alright, so we have flying armor, which gives us our, you know, 
movement ability to get to the next area. The game has to give you one in these first uh, items that we've collected up to this point. We've grabbed every item possible. So... I don't have a, much of a, as far as a weapon. Weapon's on point, at least. Like, this is, like, not a bad weapon for how far in we are. It's just a weapon for how far in we are. So the game needs to give us either, a like, a movement ability. Flying Armor's the normal one here, but uh, Grave Keeper, the Backdash, can get you up here. Melfus, Black Panther. Thank you? Hell yeah. Thumbs up. Let's do it. Love, love Ancient Belt. Uh, oh, can I... Can I get that? I don't know if Gravekeeper's in logic for it. Oop. What that Grey Soul? Yeah, I'll just go over this way. Okay. Ooh, sliding. This randomizer is giving us fairly normal stuff. So slide would normally be a couple... Uh, would be up a little bit, but you know. Alright, we're not on hard mode or anything like that. This is just uh, normal. Ah! The double belts. Skeletons really like buying in on those belts. That's fine. They're pretty cool pretty rad. What's up here? Red Soul, um... Oh, Wing and Skeleton can't go through. Um... Durga go through walls. Yes. Killer Mantle. Alright. Okay, let's get you out of the way. I don't need to do your trick yet. So we made a road made of belts to be the belt leg? Absolutely. Everybody would call it that. Alright, let's see if we can do the trick. Actually, don't do it. I don't have a oh hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's not high enough. Alright. Back up. Turn around, please. Uh, yeah. It's the low ball. Come on. I need a high ball. Ah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I need you to be the other way. Okay, over here. Yep, facing me. That's the low ball. Okay. I need the high ball. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the idea is that you can use... The ooh, can I, can you just make that with like you b just barely can't make that, so you use the axe as a little bit of height. Anyway, we'll be back up here anywho. If it's something cool, I'm pretty sure you need the axe to make it normally. I don't have backdash. I, if I had backdash, I would have. I would have just done that. We are on a randomizer. We have skeleton blaze. Skeleton blaze, pretty sweet. Got yeah, kicks. You can't use it in midair yet because you don't have the double jump. You can only midair uh, kick if you have the double jump. Or, sorry, sorry. That's uh, we, if we have kick or skeleton, we couldn't because we need double. Blaze is just a slide. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking of different... I'm conflating two things. Let's just slide along. Boop. 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 Come on. Give it to me. Come on. No. 
It's not working. Uh-uh. I love the noise that you you get for skeleton. <laughs> Run out of bones sooner or later. Okay, so Immune to petrification, that's not terribly relevant. Oop, we can get that. Hey, early school. That's not bad. That's huge amount of progress. It just means that there's likely I have to go underwater early. All right, all right. We're still free to do all the way through the library. Time for an early arena one way or the other. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so we got two items down here to check, which, you know, we're going to. The wheel is really good. Really impressed with the wheel. Alright, and... Ooh! Okay. I think is a slight upgrade. It's a slower overhead weapon, but it's got damage. Underwater and casual coals. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. We have a spare pair. You know, like we, you know, we get we get one set of jeans wet. Like you know, that's fine. We always got backup jeans. Okay, that's good damage. Yeah, wheel is a little pricey, but it, that'll, like, taper off soon. But the damage feels good. It's, like, 100 plus. Hey, Graham. Alright, so the chapel here uh, has a lot of items up top that we're going to go check. And then we got a boss, that, and we're just going to head straight to the library. The game right now is indicating an underwater area is likely next, but we'll see if, like, that's necessary. Spoiled milk. Uh-huh. See, we got a number of things up here. You just kind of make your way up. Okay, so what's starting us off with a hammer? Warhammer. Hmm, that is better. No. Oh. It's like a technically better weapon, but I think the Claymore is a, probably an actually better weapon. Okay, up above. Ooh. Can't get that and can't get that. All right. Finally, our first upgrade on armor, and it's a good one. Samurai armor is not only a pretty good armor, but adds some strength, so he has some more damage before us. All right, so we've got another... We've got to come up here for a lance later, but that's okay. One last thing to check in the area. This thing has... That has such a long uh, cooldown. Oop. All right, well... The tiny devil. All right, so over here we've got... Sherman? Hmm. I think I like Ancient Belt more than I like Sherman and... And... Ten... Dollars. 
Okay, let's see. How am I going to do this? Wiggle, 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 Hammer's cool down longer than the Asylon? Yeah. It is free experience. How quickly does that add up? Okay, very quickly. You know what? Sure. I hadn't actually looked at how quick it is. It's very quick, though. Goodbye. You know what? I'll take orb. This game definitely is full of them. Goofy translations, that is. Oh, ooh. Iron plate? I don't think you're better. Yeah, okay, you're better, but, like, I think I want the strength because I like damage. We don't have any vertical, so we can't, um, go up to Gargoyle Zone. Bye, right, Catsquaddle. Bye, Catsquaddle. Okay, the lockdown is long. So how's everybody weekend going? Having a good one? It's been a pretty decent weekend for me. I had to spend a little bit of time today on some errands that took some time, but other than that, it's been a fun one. Been doing a lot of, like, setup for things in life. Which has been necessary. Jimmy Rune Terra? Hell yeah, that's what I've been doing as well. <laughs> Brainstorming a new D&D character, slept until 4. Zero weekend. Weekend was good. I still have yet to do E7 and E8, so I'll, I'm trying to find... Ooh! Alright. Hippogriff. You know where flu. Hope you're feeling better. Give me that. A bunch of stuff to do over the weekend. Basically didn't since tomorrow. Oh, I, I can feel that one uh, closely. I had some work on Friday that was supposed to be, like, finished, but it did not get finished. It got half finished. And so tomorrow, uh, I get to do the other half of it. So, thanks, past me. Yeah, sounds like people had a, a wide variety of, of weekend experiences. Alright, we don't have to do the box, because I can just do this. This gives me, like, ultimate movement... Silver plate. That's a lot more to defense. We'll give up the three attack for that. Best question in the randomizer. Clock tower with hippogriff or underwater zones? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you're speaking my language. Hippogriff only clock tower. Yeah. Now, best of luck with the interview. I can get the lance now, but we want to make a full loop. Um, 
boss we're gonna make a loop because fighting grand the uh, armor won't be a problem um, grab that <laughs> we control the horizontal and the vertical not just the vertical hello goodbye Okay, so there's a boss here. That door normally requires Gravekeeper, but you can just jump and do an attack in midair and then backwards move. And as long as you're not facing it, that's when it, how it stays open. And our prize is... Bail! Where can we not go? Forbidden Zone? A few small rooms? We've got full movement. Look at that sword, that doesn't hit you. That doesn't count as a hit. It's not a hit. Yeah, like, we can't get past Chronomage, we can't get past, um... We don't slide, so we get past that room. Yeah, there's, like, very few rooms we can't enter anymore. But yeah, we'll go see what the Lance is, because we'll be making a, a loop here. So, you take a look at the map. The library is a closed off zone. There's no exit other than its own entrance. Uh, and the forbidden zone one in the bottom left here. But the forbidden zone entrance can only be opened from the other side. So it's not really anything. Getting movement like this is a bit of a curse. Yeah, there's a reason I equipped... Um, silver plate. Because if I didn't equip, like, equipping Silver Plate gives me, like, a little bit of extra defense. So I don't feel like a giant moron for flying around at the speed of sound. But y'all know how it goes. We got places to go. There are no clues anymore. Oh, God, you're right. At this point, anything can be anywhere. Hmm. Battle axe? You're not... Another overhead weapon. Sixty-six. Execute order. Sixty-six. Ah, cloth tunic with a level up? Good. Okay, we're gonna flip up here to Gargoyle Town, where we can beat Gargoyles in two hits. But they can beat us in five. Elfin Robe! Elfin Robe is the Int Robe. Okay, um, let's quick. Head back up here. Concussions be damn. Hey, take a look. You see that uh, someone does not hit uh, his head. Homa. Soma uh, hits his shoulders on the ceiling. So it's very bad for his back. OK, 
Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. So we want to head up this way and through the warp. Alright. From here! Gosh, we can literally go anywhere. I have the entire game open to me. That's scary as hell. Tear blood. Some ramen. I accept. Ooh, here's a combo. Fake <laughs> Sarah Gable gives the spear force by witches. This is kind of focusing on the wrong thing. Oh, don't worry. There's some really good descriptions that are similar. My favorite being Graham. Do you have Graham for sale? Melon for sale! What? I know Graham. Um, I think this trio here is real good. Um, We don't have the money, but like, knowing that I can have Calic Bowl, you Levitan is good stuff. Those are like real weapons you finish the game with. Or, sorry, they're, they're right below where you finish the game with. Calcable. Hold on, what was that? Crimson Cloak? Give me that again. Skull necklace. Skull necklace tasting. Okay. Alright, let's uh Yo, the final look at that skull. Look at that floating skull right above the D in guard. That's perfect. Costs a billion mana. Okay, there's our item up this climb. What's the word salad in the title mean? That is a uh, real estate uh, abbreviations. Uh, 24 bedroom, 27 bath. Um, Back, oh, sorry, back on market. 24 ba bedroom, 27 bath. Um, wood burning fireplace. 16 car detached garage. Um, best offer. I think that's everything in there. Oh, is it two? I forget, I, I forget what I... I don't remember if I put the... Two bed, 27 bath. Okay, I put... I put some numbers in there. Yes, and Dracula's Detached Garage. Indeed. Anyway, we make Jay there. Uh... Oop, hold on. Bag of money. Plays it.
Yeah, I think there's, there's, I think, like, you can convert more, there, there's, there's more rooms you can convert to bedrooms. Hmm, haunting. Now that's a sword I can get into. Yeah, Soma is always going to be flying at 100% speed, basically. Sooner or later, we'll find a shark soul. We have a killer skeleton soul. It's kind of like a shark soul. In my mind, the two bedrooms were Dracula's little room behind the Dracula fight, and uh, the Count would have a bedroom as well. That's it. Count what's his name? Dorlix. Poke you in the ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right, fine. Uh, save rooms would be listed uh, as save rooms. Or bathrooms. I think I considered them bathrooms when I was when I was doing the, the numbering. But that's that's from a um uh, what's the word? A a uh connection, a mental connection of saving with the bathroom from having played No More Heroes, basically. Like, that's it. Ooh, yeah, you zone it as a church, yeah. You probably get away with that. Oh, the wheel <laughs> bumped into... <laughs> no! no. Oh, damn it. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, uh huh. What do we got up here? Scimitar? Nice. Whoa. Okay. We have the slides. We can get through here. I need a hammer. I can see it wasn't. You might think to yourself, does a mimic have an attack? The answer is no, it is simply a mimic. You made a very good joke about the Achilles heel. Uh, that was the last one I saw. Oh. 
I want a key ring. Is that the gold ring? Yeah. Ooh, Trident's just dumb enough to work. Okay, so we can get them off through here. Let's get our ancient book too. Summons Imp, the familiar. Kicker Skeleton. Oh, I can't use Kicker Skeleton yet. No, this is what I was talking about earlier. Without double jump, you can't kick. You're com you're completely. You're completely unable to kick. Alright. Well, let's go with this. Taking a pretty normal path. I decided with everything open, let's just take the normal path. Oh no, I've been poisoned. My numbers. Ooh, the perfect range. Neither of us can hit. We got Hippogriff again. Uh, this always gives you some sort of movement so that you can escape the next room. All right, and now we are able to uh, go back to regularly scheduled. Uh, same mess as uh, I like, you know, I I didn't know, uh, you know, outside of maybe like uh, Road Roller, you know. Uh, a JoJo's reference would have flown right over my head. So, to see them in the wild, like, you know, 15 years later, 20 years later, 25 years later, is always really neat. Everything has JoJo's in it. That's, like, how it works. Any piece of media from, like, 1990 forward. is bound to have something, right? Like, that's just how it works. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, let's don't mask it, Soten. Alright, so let's grab this. We're not going to use it, but I want it. Uh, yeah, the st so the stone mask is a reference to part one. Uh, there's a stone mask that turns you into a vampire. That's, that's, it's a, that's, so it tends to be a, uh, a thing that is referenced a number of times. It's in, um, Bloodstained, in fact. Alright, uh... Actually, no, there's... Oh, God, my... I, 
My mind makes me think there's an item over here, but there's not. You go all the way over this way, and there's just a, a, a Lilith and a lot of people chasing you. Garfield, where is the world model of Sonic was cut? I do not. Okay, now we're doing what is called a, uh, a good idea. <laughs> yeah, there's a level where some people get very silly about it, where it's like, ah, that's clearly a reference, but like, then there are times where you, you, you know, you, you see, th oh, there's a lot of, Bloodstain has a number of them. A stock? I don't care about a stock. Um... Why would I want to buy this? Uh... Okay, so what? Still only weapons and some healing items. Okay, let's, um... Alright, let's take things in, in order. It's time for death. Because that would have been where you just got, uh, Undini, and, uh, from there that lets you walk on water, so... You would be- you, this would be your progress point. Right over here. But instead we're just gonna do that. Still no books. We got Skola, which is one of the things you need, but no books. I'm gonna put my money on Stolas. It's a weapon, it's a weapon. Let's grab that quick. Kutsuna, how powerful is that? Said to have killed a demon. Ah, uh, nope, no ancient book too. Yep, we got the death HP here. That's good. That's what we call a, 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 a good omen. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it, Counting Kittens. I, I, I purposefully do it uh, because it's the way that... Uh, Keel and Merity and all the other cast members in Tales of Eternia pronounced the word. So it was the first time I heard, you know, Undyne or, uh... Ooh, Gravekeeper! Hell yeah. Uh, said aloud, so it's like, oh yeah, that's Undini, right? Yeah, clearly. Alright, uh, so we got our full power. But... We're still going to go on normal route for now. Gremlin. A kicker skeleton. Right, hold on. I'm not going to be able to dual kicker skeleton. There's the room I want. 
I wanted the one with the, the double nightmares. This is, lets me get the last two items in the area. Silk robe. And milk? Normal milk. Uh, yes, the, so, so the, the, um, the kicker skeleton is directly a common Rider reference. Wearing the cape, doing the Rider kick, giving you, um, giving you kicker skeleton and having the drop that is the ancient belt, which is also a direct reference to common Rider Kuga, the, uh, Rider from 1999-2000. Uh, the positive attitude thing is, 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 uh, uh, close enough to that, so, yeah, I'd a thumbs up. So yeah, so it's, it's, it's all a, 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 a because this is, because again, this game's 2003? I guess that would have been, like, the revival of it. Uh, hold on, I don't want this room, I want it the other way, and then, um, yeah, Kicker Skeleton is, is, is an ally of justice. Kicker Skeleton is a friend who will help you in a time of need. Alright. <laughs> Even if there's no God or Buddha, believe in Kicker Skeleton. Hey, Graham. You power a rule? What?! Oh boy. Alright. So! This is gonna be sweet! Uh, we're gonna take a ton of spike damage. Uh, are you ready? Alright, hold on, I gotta check something. Alright. So we actually want our weaker armor on in here. Spike damage actually, uh, increases based on your armor. It's really funky. So, like, you, you, the higher your armor is, the more damage spikes will do. Because you are heavier, I think, is the... Is the way I always interpreted it. I don't know if it's, it's actually a meaningful thing. I need to clear out this room. Okay. There we go. Dracula's tunic. Can't equip that yet because of the spike rules, but... Let me tell you, that's going on the moment we're out of spike zone. You need some of the other quirks? It could be! Time for death. This weapon's not the greatest here. That's not the worst. Oh, 
Oh yeah, keep doing that, please. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's good. Keep doing that. Mm-hmm. Nope. Okay! What are you doing? What the hell was that attack? And the fadeaway! You can get hit by that on fadeaway, it's really good. Hey, a rush soul! So with that, uh, that's half of getting into Forbidden Zone. I have never seen, like... So what I think that was, was Death was off screen in the left corner and then did the, like, the, the full 360 move that goes around. But because of where it came out, it got really weird and got, like, caught on the door and just rolled on the ground like I've never seen before. So, like, you know, that's, that's a really... Favorite death is always going to be one of the Lament of Instance, Callouts, and Grave. Yeah, I mean, being where death is in that game, yeah. I think death fights you the same reason a lot of the, all the other enemies in the area fight you. Like, you're... You, you have the power to rule. You are the one of the inheritors of Dracula's power, but you're not, you're not the, 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 the ruler quite yet. Okay, so we would have gotten... Um, <sighs> all right. School it is. So we're head down here. Wait, 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 what am I doing? Wait, hold on. This is the worst idea I've had in a while. I don't have double jump. Ooh, I don't want that. Ooh, I really don't want to do that. Nope, mm -mm. Yeah, I want to do Spike Maze with no double jump. Pfft. Maybe try, like, thinking. Oh boy. Ram Stoker would be happy with all the food that that stuck around. I say, having no idea what, you know, a, a, a century passed away person would think about things. Alright, I actually want... here, I want to save. And now this is me making a decision, and that decision is I don't like doing underwater zones, so we're going to cheat. It's my favorite cheat. Everybody probably knows this one from if you've Everybody who has watched me do this has likely seen me do do this specific cheat. I I love it to death. So let's get rid of what then we need you and then oh, hold on, hold on. Turn around please. Okay, get in the butt, and in the floor. There we go. See, this cheats so much better in my first playthrough. <laughs> that means I've succeeded. So yeah, that, that specific zip is my favorite uh, zip in the game, because it lets you skip the entire underwater zone of the game. Yeah, there are items there. Yeah, we'll likely have to go back, but we don't have to go through it. Hot Tub Time Machine has tasty meat. <coughs> All right. Let's see. We can check. 
All three of the rooms? Yeah, we can check all three. And then my favorite escape. One, two, three, four, five. I love that. Oh, this is gonna suck. Armor of water. Uh... Wait a minute. Screw you. Perfect. <sighs> Do you know why the zip works like that? So that zip operates on a uh, fairly common uh, way that video games of this nature, 2D platformers, are programmed, um, which is to say, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's go over to here. What it does when you, I'm gonna find one of those enemies again. I'll, like when when you are launched out of out of bounds, outside of. I'll go back. I'll go back there quick. Actually, no. Where's where's that quick? Um, I can talk about it without demonstrating it. When you get clipped into a wall. What the game does to eject you is just move you straight up. So say like I somehow clip into this wall here, what the game would do is it would it would eject me by moving me straight up to here. Um, but when you're clipped into a wall, it keeps ejecting you upwards and it puts you, oh my, goodbye. It puts you on a, a screen transition, but there, that's a screen transition on a area that does not lead anywhere. Um, because I'm going to turn on cursor for this just to show this quick. So this square right here is where the, um, the zip is done. And if you look above it, this isn't a room. This is nothing. So what the game does is it ejects you in a place where it thinks it makes sense, basically, based on whatever internal coordinates it has. And that ends up being this room right here. Now, there's a number of different areas in the game you can perform this trick. Uh, there's a room here. One of these two rooms up here. You can perform the trick in and you can get to different areas and such. Um, but that one specifically is just the way it... Uh, yeah, so... Uh, let's see. Um, and then Huzzah says yes. And for some reason, if you're bad, it ejects you horizontally. Yes. And then because you're going horizontally, you can get into a different set of rooms. From those rooms, the speed run ejects in certain rooms and gets like... Uh, the, the, not the final sword, but the, the Irish sword, and, like, just clips through most of the game. So. Yep. If you, if you want to see a speedrun that uses that glitch more, the speedrun for Sonic 1 uses that glitch a lot. You'll clip into a wall in that game. And then you'll use that to, like, eject yourself at the end of the stage. So, and then don't get hit. Hey, more strawberries! Yeah, Sonic is the... <laughs> Sonic is the game I think of when I think of that example. Or to think of that glitch, so... Anyway, uh, time for bats. Hey, look how many bats are in this room. Uh, what do 
don't want to fight you with, Kunitsuna. Mega Man 2 zips are the horizontal variety. Do the same thing. Yeah, like Flashman stage. And... Crunch. This is such a good fake out. Because Bat Company is a pretty normal, um... Like, Castlevania boss. Uh, I don't like this weapon. Bird Gang? Oh, I don't have double jump. Oh, Bird Gang's good, yeah. Hey, newbie, thank you for the host. We are doing a Aria of Sorrow randomizer. Welcome to the Baylor fight. Uh, I have a lot of movement abilities, but not double jump. Which makes certain things a little more difficult than you would expect. Uh, Baylor here is just having a good time. We're poking him in the eye until he, you know, opens up the other. Yeah, I was just explaining uh, the zip I used to get in here and how... You know, platformers, zips in general. Hope you're having a good time. Hope uh, Record Keeper is pretty fun. I think you were doing the FF10 Dreams event and all that jazz. But yeah, randomizer here is uh, just just a random, just a you know, nothing really special about this one. Oh, oh boy. Uh, let's see. There's a couple. That's fine. Okay, we're a little out synced. That's fine. A grab and a grab. Okay, now we're good. Oh god, phase two is gonna suck. Oh boy, I did not think about this. Not Malphus, uh. Oh boy. Okay, Mal. Okay, Hipperger has a different. Oh, wait. You don't actually need... Okay. Wow. Learn some new things every day. Who needs double jump? Really? All right, that's Baylor. Baylor's one of my favorite bosses. I tend to, to, to come here early. Ooh, and then we get Black Panther, which we already had. Let's sure are some hitboxes indeed. All right, let's get our treasure. The Whip Knuckle. We're gonna stick with Bird Gong, Mythical Sword of Protection. And we'll meet up with Jay again. Hey, how you doing? Secretly. I have Julius. Oh, okay, cool. Baylor's intro rules. It's great. Like, crushing Bat Company is such a good, like, fake out. Because you see the bats, and, like, you, you know, most Castlevanias before this have included Bat, you know, the big Bat boss. In fact, the one after this still has it. Um, Alright, uh, let's get past these school millions. Another great translation. There's an item right back here past the giant skeleton, and it is Dane's Lift. Oh, does that compare? Yeah, okay. Ultimate Magical Sword, you don't say. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take it. That's a game ender. We still have no knowledge, though. Beam! Wait. Knowledge. I do not believe... Not to my knowledge. Oh, hold on here. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so let's go pick up that book before it, like, molds. Hey, 
Howdy, Vipers! We are doing a randomizer. Um, making our way down to a book. Oh my god. Okay. I thought I had Wear Tiger on lock, but no. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, hold on, hold on. Come on. Damn it. That's fine. Anyway, let's get Ancient Book 1. What does Ancient Book 1 tell us? What of hell's cauldron demons with a bl- Okay. Anyway, we're just gonna blitz through this room the second time around. I don't actually care. I'll take a billion damage for it. 420 blast it. Turn to home. Sure. Anyway. Down we go! Looks like Legion time to me. Okay, let's go through this room, which is not the worst room, but is the template for the worst room. Second worst room. I don't know. It's all set. Skula. Oh! Alright then. Skeletal remains of a dinosaur. Um. Bone pillar. We have that. Alright, two books. Alright, knowledge begets knowledge. Is book three like right here? Like right on the left, right here? Okay, no. Alright, anyway, time for Legion. Which I think will give us Malthus. Hmm, maybe that means I shouldn't get a Legion. Usually you get Malthus from Legion. Oop, that's me hitting the mute. Don't do that. Alright. Hey, Legion. I think we can beat Legion with Gladiator. Yeah, Legion's area is extremely creepy. Alright, do I have do I have reach? So, Legion can't quite figure out how to path to you in this position. Just... No idea how to do it. It looks like Legion might sooner or later figure it out, but they, they won't. They get confused easily. There's a, like, you know, a lot of input. Do we go left or right? Or what do we do here? What's the move, boss? Alright. Anyway, I want... So I'm going to show off a glitch. I don't get to shove this glitch off him. Nice. 
Usually you don't choose to do this one. I don't know if it's a gl Actually, I say glitch, but I believe it is meaningfully, like... It, th I think that's actually incorrect. I believe calling it a glitch is incorrect because it is intended behavior. There's a different animation for if you get rid of all four parts or if you don't. If you don't get rid of all four parts of Legion, you don't get the soul. What the hell is Legion anyway? It's a lot of bodies surrounding... Uh, a, a small child. Anyway. But yeah, there's this different animation. The other way, There's a different one that plays when you beat Legion with all four parts dead. So you just don't get the soul if you beat Legion without breaking all four parts. I, I, again, glitch is not correct. I should not use that word to uh, describe it because it's intended behavior. Uh, what do we got here? Scroll Archer? Cool. Still missing a book. Alright, not missing a book anymore. What do we got? A mandala-like figure built of wood and... All right, and that one's, I think that one's just, um... Oh, I don't have it. Hmm. AI exploit? I don't know. It, 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 it's, it's just like, a, a, maybe just a neat thing to note. Mandala-like. Whoa! Okay, there's few, um... There's a few different armors in the game that are considered the best armor. Like, all of them for different reasons. Uh, basically, it's like Dracula's Tunic, Death's Robe, Demon Mail are the three that are in stat contention. Uh... And for some of us, uh, blocking mail can be better than all of them, but not for all of us. Those, those are those are only for us blessed by, by, uh, by number weighing. Death's Robe, however, pretty sweet. A little less strength, a little more int, a little more luck. Alright, I think we're forced to do some underwater stuff because I still need, um, souls, actually. Like, that's a missing piece right now. I don't have golem. Or wood golem, actually, I think is the mandala like. Ooh! Alright. Hey, Headhunter, how you doing? I'll take that. That's just base damage up. Headhunter gets more power for the more souls you have. Did not realize Dame's left. Okay, so that's, that's pretty sweet. That's Triton doing that, honk. Oh my god, it's important. We have Medusa head dead in one. Get out of here. Always suspicious of luck stats in game, the notoriously buggy. Yeah, I, I can understand that. It's also hard to quantify, you know, minor percentages, right? Like. Because sometimes, even if you have less luck, it can feel better, like, because of a run, you know. High mind up. You can get most items here, not everything. Soldier uniform. Stolas. Wooden golem! Oh, hey, how you doing? Okay, I'm out, I'm out, okay. Kill it all. Check. Hmm. 
Yeah, one of hell too. So we need. We do not have Uka back. That's our missing piece right now is Uka back. All right, good to know. Let's quick heal and then we'll head up to top floor and see if it's just up there. I always think that room has something and it doesn't. Come on. So here's the real item checks in this area. So step one is directly above us, right up here. Gun! Oh, it's a good gun, too. Shit. Sword, nice. I like Rahab Sword. It's not gonna, you know, probably not better than our, our sword we were using, but. Rat tat 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 tat. Oh, sure. Giant bat instead of a. Uh... Movement. Don't you dare. The, the red minotaur was trying to obliterate us. All right, there's an item above us. It's right up um, here. I should check it because sometimes... Ooh, melon. All right, and then we have to go down and catch a couple. Sword goes up. Uh... I always say the sword, it's because we're Dracula, lets us through. I think it's neat. It's like a purple sword. It looks like it should hurt you and it just doesn't. I don't know. I think it's rad. Alright, we got a couple items we gotta go back down. Right, tap, 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 tap. I stole us. I stole us. This game takes place in 2035. Mimic! Okay, we can leave. Oh, I'll do that the next time I run by one, Omnicrom. That'll be funny. Uh, there'll be- I'll either run by one again up top, or there'll be one in Chaotic Realm. But I will keep that in mind.
Oh, check out this movement. Oh, yeah. That looks too good. Yes, yeah, this, this is definitely some gun kata here. The regular gun does half your attack and damage and makes it suck. The silver gun is sweet. The silver gun's the good one. Oh, where do we want to go from here? Underwater? I think it's underwater. All right. You got me. Because I need that Ukebak soul. Ah, the man with the silver gun. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Minotaur. The strength of Minotaurs to power up your gun. Even works underwater. Also, here's some cool details. Watch uh, the cartridge. <laughs> and for his neutral special, Sola has a gun. Yeah. And I don't remember which way I actually need to be going, so I'm just kind of going our direction. I'm bad at underwater. Oh, come on, grab me. This is optimal. Ascalon? Ascalon up in cool S, which is is good. Ascalon's good. Ascalon is a weapon you can beat the game with. Well the gun just works underwater. Please don't ask questions. Is Zuka back? Hey, we're all set, everybody. Can y'all put time down? Let's go ahead and collect everything else, though. In this in this room. Just, you know, completion's sake. We're in this room. There's another couple items. I might as well grab them. Hey, I like lightning, though. And our final prize is... I'll take it. Potato pancake is my favorite. Hit me please, so I go faster if I get hit down. There is a plasma rifle in this game. So, yeah, maybe it's just guns. Okay, we're leaving. It's the library cards. Mmm. 
The power to rule, telling the water just to not affect the bullet. We did fight Headhunter. We actually did basically a normal run through. Uh, other than my skip, which, you know, I always do. I call that normal. Alright. Alright, let's just get up there. Oh god, I can't stop Bale! <laughs> it's wooden golem... Bone pillar... Go back. Well, remember, it's Dracula dollars, so, like... They're pretty fine. They're good potato pancakes, trust me. You can read the... The burnt edges are the best part. Alright, are you ready for me to shoot Graham a hundred times? Because I'm ready to shoot Graham a hundred times. It's gonna be sweet. The gun does not have the range I want it to. There's Dosta. That's that one. There's Kizama no... Uh... The third one. Zuke, yeah, that's it. There's the... yeah. It, yeah he, has, he has a Japanese voice actor. I mean, the Hia is just a, a grunt that's not anything. But you can tell what attack Graham is going to do by the callouts. Blazing Blade, yes. have range or oh god please not in the face here we go just keep on Is that it? 
Come on. Yeah, that's why it works underwater, clearly. Yeah, I'm not even... Perfect strategy! Gone! Gone! <laughs> anyway, uh, now we can swap uh, back to whatever we want. I don't want to be shooting that. All right, we're too... Ugh. There's the better. Oh, oh, I didn't lower my health. Oh, no. I got to shoot you again? Damn. When was the last time I died on Graham? All right, whatever. I get to shoot Graham again, though. This is going to be sweet. Oh, I'm so excited to shoot Graham in the face a bunch. Yes! I'm so excited to shoot, shoot Graham a bunch in the face again. That's on me for a I'm like, oh, I have, like, health left right now. No. You idiot, you took, like, 12 attacks in the first phase. Alright. I'm gonna fight you normally with... Dane's Lift. Hey, Lucy. Yeah, this is 60. What is that squad? I'll check it for you. Because that is a strength boost, so it might be more, but that has like a... Okay, it does, huh? That's weird. Because this has a, a, a weakness. That's weird, because the... Uh, um... Dane's Lift has a weakness... Um... Noise. So, well, when you, when you hit somebody with something you have weakness on, like, you get a little thing like that. But it's clearly not doing extra damage. Hmm. Weird. Oh. Hmm. And... Yeah, I think you're right. We, we probably did talk about this before. It's just something that seems very weird. Again, maybe an oversight. I love it. Just shoot the bomb. Wait a minute. I had a thought. How safe am I over here? Not very. Hold on. We have to do something here quick. We're, we're, we're setting something dumb up.
So I don't know how many... I've, I think I've shown this off once before. The Chandelier's killable. You just never do it. It has, like, more health than Graham does, I think. I think Graham has 1,500 in this form, and the Chandelier is, like, 2,000. Back over here. Oh, my Uka back worked. Yeah, looking at this boss, it's like, it is a very, very creepy design. God, this thing has more health than I remember. Maybe it's 3k? Thousand, oh boy. Alright. We've done it, everybody. You know what that means? I'm going to shoot Graham in the head 50 times. So you can see Graham in the middle there. So yeah, uh, without the chandelier, there's only one move going on here, and it's the hands. Grab a cheap ultimate power, man, except you forgot legs. Yeah. You'd think when you're floating, you'd be fine, but no. This cannot be! And you inherit the power of Dracula. Let's, uh, put our skill set back. Get our prizes. Wow! <laughs> what a set of prizes. That's beautiful. The power of Dracula. Here's the most busted sword in the world. Also, the power of Dracula. Double jump.
That's a that's a really good like. Goodbye, bomber armor. So we won't be using that sword immediately because that sword is actually quite bad against Julius. Uh, just it it's not good against him. He's set up like it's it, Julius is set up to be uh, a difficult fight because of the resistance to some of those powerful weaponry. So usually you want to bring you know, like a dark sword or something like, you know, you want to bring like a not holy weapon. Kalik Bolg is the most common one because it's easy to get. It's not as though you have a weakness, but it's not a strength. I'll show off what the gun does, so we can finally cross kicks. So this thing fires sterling silver bullets. Forty. Whoa. I'm invincible! Is this the power of the Belmont clan? Fighting, I mean, a corner. That's actually the real good stuff. So this is 150 shots to win. 6,000 health total. Nice jump hit. to watch the castle break in the background to the power of the that and then we get to uh start for phase two which is kind of easier because oh nice move See, the legendary Belmont Leo deals with being shot several hundred times. I love Julius. Julius is a rad fight. Julius is, uh... Nope. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Oh yeah, the, the Black Panther move through is what hit for one. Oh, you got a beam, do you? Dance, partner. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, is that... Goodness, this scene! So we had Final Sword... <laughs> we had both of these right at the end. Alright, hold on. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop bullying a skeleton. I should not bully the skeleton. That's rude of me. Alright, uh, Stolas, where are you at? I gotta do a thing. Somebody asked me about this. Omni asked me about this. Or just mentioned it offhandedly. So we're gonna do it. Okay, halfway through. Yeah, I could've grabbed the, the, the Satan's ring too. You're making it through almost all this room, but you can't make it through this last part here without um, either clipping out of bounds or school up. The seed is extremely good. Oh shit! Y'all, what do you think's in Forbidden Area? That just opened up Forbidden Area. Two grapes? I like two grapes. Alright, hold on, I gotta do this. Yeah, so you'll notice... Check out the numbers change. So, what the, this does, it swaps MP with HP, and uh, Stolas has a lot of MP. Hunter's probably still best. Yeah, it's plus three in all stats versus my... Nah, let's go with plus eight to strength. Alright, should I go back and check for Benaria or should I leave that for some other... Hmm. That's a long way back. God damn. We're almost at two hours anyway.
die tragically, decide you've won the fight anyway, then you go back and see what's in the zone. Mmm. Alright, round two. need to use a sword here. take a bunch of damage. Okay. Where does that go on? Wait a minute. Gun do here. I think Gun does pretty badly. So what's with the kids? Killer doll attracts enemies. They think that's you. It's also a tiny soma and a mina. So. So now that all four arms are over there.
There we go. Gun. I wanted to show off that the silver gun is a usable weapon. When I saw silver gun finally show up, I, I wanted to show off that that's real. I think we've done it in the past once before, but I think it's notable. Normal gun is not. Silver gun is. Anyway, that's a randomizer. A little under t two hours. A uh, little long, because we had to do basically a full complete, but, you know, it is what it is. That was fun as hell. I love the seed giving you all ultimate power the moment you beat Graham. Like, everything was behind Graham. All ultimate power. Also a non melphus seed. That's cool. I'll keep this one in the pocket. Anyway. That's Aria. Hope you enjoyed the randomizer. I know I had a lot of fun with this. These are always a blast. I always love just playing through these things. Like, I can play through an Aria randomizer basically an infinite number of times. Anyway. So, thank you all for joining. Hope you all had fun with this. Hope you got to enjoy Gun versus uh, Dracula. I hope you enjoyed all the, the silly bits we had. Uh, as far as future stuff, um, tomorrow, Final Fantasy Tactics A2, Grimoire of the Rift, continues. Tuesday, gosh, I've been thinking about putting it in at, for a while. Tomorrow, Tuesday might finally be time where Eternal fits in. There's a new set that came out a week and a half ago. I wanted to at least do a stream of a draft of it. I told myself I would. I even got a free draft little thing in it, so it's like, why not? Wednesday will be continuation of Final Fantasy 13 2. Thursday will be off. And then this next weekend, me and VPriz are going to start up Misadventures of Tron Bond. That will be on Sunday. Uh, as that's a longer one, we're going to be doing that in two kind of long stream, two or three long streams. I don't remember how long that game is. I haven't played it in a decade and a half. Got my actual disc. That's pretty great, sweet. Anyway, but yeah, Misadventures of Tron Bond. That'll be on Sunday. Let's say a th 2 to 3 o'clock start, because we'll be going long. So, that'll be like a, a more lengthy stream on Sunday. Anyway, I think that covers everything that's coming up. Uh, other than that, other random cards might fit in where time permits. Uh, more, There's going to be on the next week, the cons cube reappears, and we'll be doing that. Uh, maybe I'll fit that on Thursday or somewhere. I don't know. We'll, we'll find a place for that. So that'll be more of a spontaneous thing. Maybe Friday. Maybe Friday will be Cons Cube. I'm not going to be at FNM next weekend. We'll see. Anyway, thank you all for joining. Uh, if you want to keep track of when I do go live, you can always follow. See when I go live. Um, I also post things on Twitter or in my Discord. A link is, of which is on my Twitter. Uh... If you want to support the streaming, you always follow, but just be, or subscribe too. Yeah, cool skull, cool slime. But just being here, having a good time, that's all I can ask for. Anyway, thank you all for joining. Have a good night, everybody.